Hey guys, I'm walking in downtown Frederick right now, joined by my girl Bella, the 10 month old English lab. We're just having a good time walking around in public. Now I'm specifically bringing her down here where I know there's gonna be lots of people because Bella, this little angel here, had a bad habit with her dad where if they were walking and she saw a person up ahead, she would just lie flat and wait for them to come to her so she could go get affection from them. So we taught her that that is not appropriate and now we're really gonna put her to the test with lots of people Lots of dogs, probably some skateboarders, loud trucks, whatever we can find down here to really throw at her and see if her obedience is really sticking outside of the training room. So far, so good. When I stop, she automatically sits. Bella, hi. Girl. Just waiting for that light. Heel. Down. Stay. Thank you. We have some people up ahead. Let's see what Bella does. It is really nice taking a trained dog into public spaces because instead of focusing on her, dragging me around and eating stuff off the ground or <laughs> bothering strangers, I can focus on what I came down here to enjoy. The beautiful sights and sounds of a little city. Maybe stop and get a bite to eat, maybe chat with some friends. I can do anything because my dog is not ruling the day anymore. So it's simple as communicating with her with verbal, so good girl, commands, sit, down, place, heel and with the e-collar of course. So I have my e-collar here. She's working at a 17, pretty low for her. And I'm simply communicating with her whenever she pulls on the leash, I simply say no, heel, tap on the collar, tap. And that tells her, oops, I made a mistake. She fixes herself and we go on. There's no wrestling, there's no tug of war with the leash, just movement and enjoyment. This loose leash, good girl.